just going to quickly start by brushing my hair. Like, we're gonna start braiding from the back. So before I begin, I'm going to show you guys the hair I'll be using and then the other tools that will be needed. We'll be using this braid. It's called a darling braiding hair. It comes two in a pack. If you've been on this channel for so long, you will know that I don't joke with this brand. Even though they are not sponsoring me, I feel like this hair is really good and it saves time because first of all, it's pre-stretched so you don't have to buy, cut and stretch it out yourself. It saves time and the hair is really soft, like it's really sleek when you braid with it and then when you dip it in hot water, ha oh gosh, like it comes out really nice. So I always prefer buying this hair and it comes two in a pack. It's two in a pack so I might even end up using one pack for this video. Yes, or a pack and a half. From this, so I got two packs, and then for that tip, I want to accessorize it with some beads. So I got this type as well. We'll be needing a rat tail comb, some scissors, edge brush or hair control brush, like this. I'll be using this air cream hair wax. This product tends out to make your hair white at times, so. I don't know if I'll be using this wax throughout the whole video, but I got my Gorilla Snob Knob here also that I'll be featuring it in. I don't know how this one is going to turn out, but if I use it, then it's good. I'm going to use this for the video, but if not, I'll just manage this one and spray it later with some sheen in order to not make it that white. So this is what I meant by it comes to in a pack. So I'm going to begin by cutting the rubber band that came with the hair and I'm going to move on to unravel the braids and then use this white tooth comb to kind of brush through the hair to get rid of any nuts. For each braid, I'll be using this much to braid and so I'm going to go ahead to split it into smaller pieces like so and that is what we are going to be using to feed in. Next, I'll be adding on some hair wax to the back of my hair to kind of slick my hair down and I'm going to go ahead to part my hair right straight down, like really, really straight <laughs> uh, and make sure that my patterns were straight. I'm going to go ahead and start parting the hair at the back before I begin braiding. So for each part from the back, I made it a little bit bigger than the front because I wanted to braid my hair really big. But once I got to the front, I realized that the back wasn't really filled or full. So in the front, I made it a little bit smaller than the back. To begin braiding, I made sure to comb the hair to get rid of any knots and then once I did the braids, I begin feeding and this is how much I'm adding to the braids. To do feeding braids, you first of all braid your natural hair about one or twice before you feed in the little pieces of hair as if you are braiding corn roll or you are doing corn roll. If you don't do it this way and you start braiding right with an extension, that is not not less braid. And with that, you are going to get a knot at the top or the tip. So with this method, because we are not adding the hair right from the beginning, we are not going to get any knots whatsoever. That is why we call it the knotless braid. I'm going to show you a couple more clips for you guys to understand and enjoy the process. And oh, by the way, if this is your first time joining me or watching any of my videos, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. Please help me do one more step. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel before leaving. That's if you find it helpful. And if you watch any other more videos, kindly subscribe to this channel. And once you are done, click on the post notification to get notified anytime I upload a video. Because that means a lot to me. And thank you once again for joining the family. Now let's go on to do the braids so if you guys saw from my previous video that i posted i relaxed my hair i was natural 4c type natural hair and i relaxed the hair because i was finding it difficult to style it at times and my hair was really hard and it was really difficult for me to um, move around with it so i relaxed it and i have no regrets as of now <laughs> But as I said in my other clip, I might go back to do natural or I might cut my hair. So let me just enjoy this one for the meantime and then I'll decide later on. So 
so the process is the same i keep repeating the same step over and over and over again i feed in about four to five depending on the size of the feeding that i'm adding the extension that i'm adding but i believe it's about four or five if i'm not mistaken and that's how much i'm making each braid but from the front i'm going to make it a little bit smaller Once I was done with the back, this is how it turned out. So with the help of my mirror, I just went ahead to check if everything was in place and then moved on to the front. So with the front, same thing applies. The same process we did at the back, you are going to repeat the same thing at the front. Just that the patterns are a little bit smaller than what we did at the back. With this side, I'm sure you are going to get a clear picture of how I was feeling in the hair. If you can't do this on yourself, then try and do it on a friend or I'll make an in-depth tutorial showing it in slow motion for you to see how I was able to do it. It's really simple. If you can braid your own hair, then this shouldn't be difficult for you.
and finally i was on the last brace guys you don't know how happy i was i woke up at 2 a.m yes 2 a.m to do this video because i had to go somewhere early in the morning the next day so i was really happy that i could finish the hair at this point my patterns may not look that neat yes if you are braiding your hair you don't expect it to look like a professional person braiding your hair or someone else is doing your hair for you but in as much as i can walk around with my hair like this i'm okay I dip this hair in water off camera because the last time I tried, I nearly bent myself. Once I was done, I went ahead to add these beads that I showed in the first clip at the tip and then bent it with a um, candle. I didn't show that process as well because I didn't want to burn myself. But that's basically it for this hairstyle, guys. We are done. I hope you guys find it helpful and you find it informative. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with your friends and family. And until next week, stay blessed. Bye, guys.